Hey guys, on today's show, we're going to discuss how I ground my station. So stay tuned. That's right here, right now on Ham Radio for Non-Techies. Hey guys, welcome back. So for a while now, a few of the viewers have been asking to see how I have my ham shack set up and how I've got it uh, grounded. And I wanted to go through that. I'm still working on a lot of things right now with that. I'm still trying to get it perfected. And I'm still waiting on a couple parts and shopping for a few things here and there. Uh, but for the most part, I can give you the basic idea of what it what what my what my vision is of how to set it up. And you know, I welcome you guys to comment on what you think. If I'm doing it right, doing it wrong, if there's a better way, I'm all ears. Um, you know, I, I looked online trying to find other places that would show exactly how to do it. And they'll kind of explain things, but they're still not showing you. So I want to take the camera downstairs. We're going to go down to the shack. We're going to look at how I got it set up inside. Then we'll go outside and see how I've got it set up out there as well. So I'll meet you guys downstairs, and we'll get this show started. So welcome back, guys. Welcome down to my shack. I got my radio over here, as you can see behind me. Um, for this video and for the grounding that I did with my station, I only grabbed a couple little things. I'll show you more stuff down here, but I'm going to show you the basics what I have up top here. So first of all, I've got the 8-gauge, 15 feet of 8-gauge copper wire for uh, grounding, and I picked up some connectors for the wire, which just screw right in. Uh, the only other thing you need for this is maybe a screwdriver, flathead, and a uh, pair of uh, wire snips. So with that, let's go take a look underneath and see how it all, how it all ticks. Okay, guys, so you see my setup here. And on the back, I've got grounding wires for the tuner. I'm going to add one. I had, did not add one for the power supply, but I got one here for the tuner, one for the power supply, and, then we, and there's also one back here for the actual uh, radio, if it'll focus in here. There we go. There's one back here for the radio. So down below, well, actually, first, let's start up here. Here's the window unit we made in the last video, and I added that 8-gauge wire with that connector here, and I ran that wire back around down under the desk and what i've got down here is a one inch copper pipe with some uh with, a, with an offset looks like little looks like little bells but uh, it's an offset uh thing to put it up on you know to post this on a wall or whatever so i got that up here so i had plenty of room to get things around i bought these little end caps little end caps things here to go on here just kind of seal it all up and keep the bugs and crap out of it but that wire comes in right down here into this little connector here. I have more of these connect or more of these uh, uh, hose clamps, basically, uh, to connect all the uh, ground wires going up to the radio. So that's basically a setup here. It's really simple. And I also, just for added protection, I picked up a 4600 joule uh, surge protector, which everything runs through. But generally, guys, when I'm not using my radio, if I'm not going to, if there's a thunderstorm or anything like that, I'll just go ahead and un unplug this from the wall and I'll come up here. And because I now have the pass through, I can just disconnect my two antenna uh, cables and everything's fine. So if anything hits this, nothing here on the inside is connected and my stuff is protected. It's a little more of a pain to do it that way, but it does work and it seems to work just fine. So now we'll go outside and check out the rest and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so we're outside of the shack now. And again, we have our little uh, window pass through. I did the same thing out here. If you come in real close. I got the same connector out here with that eight gauge wire. And it's all nice and secured onto there. I actually probably need to tighten it down a little bit more. But I got that all tight and secure. This wire runs down over to the uh, grounding rod. So let's pop over here. And because we know that solder connections are the worst connections to have, I made these all mechanical. So the mechanical connection is here. The wire comes into this bottom one. And I know some of you are probably going to be saying, well, why didn't I have any lightning arresters? Well, I'm still shopping around for them, trying to see which one's the best bang for the buck. And I'll have those attached eventually and have my uh, antenna wires attached to those and have, then run more patch cables back up to the panel. But for right now, this is a decent little setup. I think it's going to work. Again, if you guys have a better idea here, you let me know. But I do have an eight-foot ground rod that I had to drive into the ground here, and I got a couple mechanical connectors 
to set it all up and I have room for more stuff down the road. I can also put another, another uh, ground rod in here down the road if I need to. But I think that's the good setup for now. And uh, hopefully that'll, that'll work out. So let's go back inside and uh, we'll wrap this up. So that's pretty much my setup here. Again, if you guys have some better suggestions, I'm all ears, I'm well, willing to listen to it. But again, when I went online trying to find information about this, people kind of generally talk about it, they show this, they, show, they don't show the exact way that they did it. And I want to be as exact as possible for you guys. I mean, that's the least I can do for you for watching my videos. Um, but you know, if you have a better suggestion, or if I'm doing something wrong, please point it out. I'll make that correction. I am still looking for lightning arresters. When, they come, when, I, when I find the ones I want, I'll get those and I'll probably reconfigure everything at that point. Uh, but for right now, I think this will work. Anyway, guys, if you uh, like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And, uh, you know, if you really like my videos a lot, you know, hit, think about subscribing and clicking on a little bell. And that'll help YouTube know that my videos are important and that people like them and that they'll get to see more of it. So until then, guys, my name is Scott. My call sign is KI5MPL. And this is Ham Radio for Non-Techies. And we are clear.